Hi everybody, Melissa here. So anybody who's seen my nails or watched my videos or anything knows that I kind of have a thing for marbles. I love them. I love thinking up different ways to do marbles and different ways to make them look more realistic. And I've kind of been intrigued by the um, agate stone look lately, which is kind of the layered um, stone. It's like in lines. So I was trying to figure out a way to recreate that look with dip powder. And um, <laughs> if I ever tell anybody that asks me for help or messages me that sometimes it takes a few tries to get something down, this was yesterday. This was just my different attempts yesterday from the first moving down the line and changing things a little bit every time until I got to something that I really loved and I like the way this came out. I did it in very light colors, so it's not super dramatic. I am looking forward to trying it with darker, brighter colors to see how the, the effect translates to that. But that's what I'm going to be putting on my nail today. I'm going to do it on this one. Um, I have Sage It Isn't So on these nails and then Innocence Glows on these. Um, on this nail, which I'm going to be doing the marble on, I've done one and a half coats. Um, Innocence Glows is pretty opaque. So I've done one and a half coats. I activated and I filed it smooth just because I wanted um, the base color underneath. The difference between, say, this swatch here and this swatch here is the base color. So this one has the base color under it and this one doesn't. So I just wanted that extra pop of pink underneath. So that's why that's there. Now I'm going to do a layer of base over this and let it dry because anytime you have activator in the lower layers, the next layer you put on is going to dry very quickly. Also, it gives us a smoother surface to work on, which really helps with this technique. So I'm just going to paint that on and then let it dry. Okay, for this technique I'm using a pretty wide variety of colors. I have um, from Double Dipped Fool's Gold, Casper the Friendly Glows, Innocence Glows and Sages and So, and from Zooty Three Hots and a Cut. Going for a sage and pink, I really, I've i wanted to pair those two colors together for a while, and I love them together. And then I'm using this tool, which I got this tool, it's a multi-ended a mini tool. It's a dotting tool on one end and this is like a rubber. It almost looks kind of like how the cuticle pushers the shape, but it's it's a rubber ended. And I got this in a, a, a kit of a, a whole bunch of different nail tools and I will put the link to that in the uh, bottom of the video. So if you guys want to find it, you can. It has tons of brushes and it has decals and all kinds of cool stuff with it that you can play with. But this is all pretty much all I'm using for this just the base, the powder, this, and this tool to get the look. So that's good and dry. So I'm going to start, I'm gonna take my base and I'm going to wipe off all excess um, liquid. I don't want it to be really heavy on the liquid because I'm just gonna use a little bit at a time. I'm going to start up here in the corner and I'm gonna kind of just fill in a line in the kind of uh, corner of the nail there and dip into my first color. I'm gonna go with three hots. Before that fully dries, I'm going to take this little pusher and I'm going to push the dip just create a line here. It doesn't have to be perfect because the beauty of marble and stone designs is they aren't perfect. They kind of go wherever 
And that imperfection is what makes them look real. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with my brush and do the next color. I'm going to do just, again, wiping off all the excess off the brush. I don't want too much. And go in right up against where I pushed it in a small line. And I'm gonna go into my other sage. See how it's like pretty wide there, but I can push it over. So that it's a thinner line. Just kind of using this little rubber thing to manipulate it. Make it the size I want it to be. I'm going to brush off occasionally just because I do get a buildup of powder on the nail and I don't want that. Another small line. I'm gonna go into my pink. Since I already have pink on the nail, I don't need to do too much pink. Um, so I'm gonna try and make this pretty thin. You can see how, like, I don't know if you can see right there, I, do, I missed a spot with pink, but it doesn't really matter because in the end, it's just going to look like lines of a stone and sometimes there's spots missing and sometimes it's not consistent and that's okay. Now I'm going to go in with a, a line of white. And again, I want the white to be thin because the white will stand out. So I'm just going to do a thin line here. You're going to end up with like these little ridges sticking up on the nail, but that's okay because in the end those will file down. Next we are going with the pink again. I'm kind of doing this in a pattern. Usually with marble I don't do pattern, but the different tests I've done, the pattern kind of looked the best, so sticking with it. But you could just do it whatever random order of colors that you want to do. Next is our light stage. If you get any liquid on your skin, just go with a little dotting tool. But you want to get to this pretty quickly because it will start to dry and it'll start to set in place if you don't get to it quickly enough. Or if your liquids dry too quickly also, it be a problem. Okay, go on with the dark sage.
Okay, now I'm gonna do a very thin line of this metallic. The metallic dries a little bit differently. It's a little bit more difficult to push and it dries quicker. So I have to be pretty careful to get a good thin line for this one because I don't want it to take over. So I'm just going to very gently come in right here. Okay, we're just going to repeat the process over and over, going through the pattern until I hit the end of the nail. Sorry, down here, until I hit the end of the nail. Okay, once you have the entire nail covered this way, I'm just going to let it dry for a second. I'm going to brush the excess powder off and then I'm going to activate and let the activator dry. And you want to make sure that is good and dry. You should hear a clicking sound when you tap it. Uh, there's still a chance that layers underneath might not be fully dry, so we're going to start filing very carefully just to make sure that we don't end up peeling off any of the layers with our filing. We want everything to be really dry and to stay in place. But I'm going to start on the sides and just start filing this nail just to smooth out the top layers. I don't want to overfile and end up um, filing off the actual marble itself just want to smooth out these ridges that are on top. If you start to feel like some of the layers are peeling up instead of filing off, you can just shoot in there with a little bit more activator to make sure it's really good and solid. I actually kind of love the look of this. I think that texture would drive me crazy, but it's pretty cool. Okay. 
think we're good. I'm just gonna start filing now. Okay, we're smoothing that out quite a bit. It does not need to be perfect. We're gonna go over it with clear. Um, if you smooth it down too, too much, you risk off, or you risk buffing off, filing off some of the marble. You don't wanna do that. Okay, I think that's pretty good. You can still see some of the, the crevices between but we're gonna fill that in with clear. So just one dip of clear, and I'm going to activate that and then file the nail again. All right, and you can hear that activator is nice and dry, and we're gonna start really filing and shaping and smoothing out that nail for finish. All right, now I'm just gonna buff it. And then we'll activate. And our final top coat. And there's our final look for the marble. I'm gonna let this dry, get it all cleaned up, um, finish the rest of my mani, top coat it, and I will post pictures if you'd like to see the finished product of the whole set. You can look on my Instagram. If you have any challenges or anything you'd like me to try and um, duplicate or recreate, let me know. You can message me on Instagram or on my Facebook page. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you next time.